Now back to Inside Real Estate. Here's Mike the Realtor. Idaho folks, we are back in Central Real Estate, sports, entertainment, politics. Time to talk some insurance. We got Richard Tonica right here from the Goosehead Insurance brand here in the DFW area, right smack dab in the middle of the heart of the Metroplex in Arlington. His website, richardtagency.com, richardtagency.com. Mr. Richard Tonica, how are you? I'm doing well. I didn't know we were going to talk about insurance today. I just came here to just kind of joke around and... Hang out? <laughs> yep. We always love it when you come on down to the studio, <laughs> hang out, and shoot the breeze with us, you know. And uh, we can talk a little insurance if you want to. Yes. In, in fact, uh, what I wanted to do today was talk about when, talk about water damage because we're always talking about how much and the likelihood that water damage is going to affect each and every one of us. Yep. And kind of compare one of my carriers. Now, I've got over 20 different ca carriers that – I'll, I'll shop everyone with, but we're just going to take one and we're going to compare them with USAA, State Farm, Farmers, and just kind of, and it's an unbiased comparison because I go to OPIC, uh, OPIC.texas.gov, and it gives you the ability to compare the different home policies. That way you can, not every home policy, and I know I've said this before many times, not every home policy is the same and they aren't all, they're not all created equal. Right. Even if they're all HO threes or HOBs and we can get into that at a later date, but <clears throat> there are basically four different kinds of water damage or, well, I'm going to say four, uh, sudden accidental, which is a pipe burst or something happens to your, to your washing machine, your dishwashers, a pipe burst, and you've got sudden and accidental water and or steam, which just about every carrier is going to cover on an HO3 or an HOB. And so you're good with that. Where you start getting into this is not covered, this is not covered, or you have this option of adding this, or you, you can do this and it's limited. When you have an insurance company or a person telling you that, this coverage is limited. Every coverage on your homeowner's insurance policy is limited. They have numbers and that's the limit that they're going to pay you. No one is going to give you unlimited money on a home insurance policy. Every coverage is limited. And so, uh, the second type is, uh, so you got sudden and accidental, uh, you got slow leak and then you've got water backup water backup and sub pump and then I'm counting flood as another kind of water damage but we're going to kind of talk about all four uh sudden and accidental we, we've already talked about sub pump and water backup it, it 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 depends on which carrier you're, you're talking about but basically it is when the sewer is backing up into your house that is a terrible day yeah no <laughs> doubt uh it's <clears throat> In every, most carriers have it to where you can add it by endorsement, but we're going to talk about the comparisons in a little bit, but there are some company or some policies, HOBs usually are the only ones that will add it into the policy to begin with. But they, even if it's an HOB, that does not mean that they are going to automatically add it into the policy. It's going to be something that you add and you usually do it in increments of $5,000. Normally you'll see it at 5,000, but you can see it more. And depending on where you're at, if you're at the top of a hill and all the pipes are going down, do you need it? Probably not. You're going to have every insurance agent that is going to try and put that on there. But I, everyone's, everyone's position is going to be unique to them. Right. And so you may need it because you're at the bottom of a hill and you're more likely to have your pipes back up into your house. Where if I'm at the top of the hill, yeah, the chances of that happening aren't likely at all. And so I'm not going to put it on my house. Now, if you're looking at, uh, if you have a septic system, yes, it's a, it's a no brainer. You put it on there. You don't even think twice about it. It's automatic. Exactly. And then you also have foundation coverage, which is they're going to come in. If you, with all the, with all of the ground shifting and everything with the different houses, it's more than likely that you're going to have some kind of water or pipe burst at the foundation where it's getting all the friction from the house moving 
even though you may not feel it and it's doing it over the gradually over the course of time, but it ends up tearing away at those pipes and ends up causing burst and going in first off, you're going to have to jackhammer your foundation to get to the pipe mm -hmm. to fix the problem. Then you're going to have to repair the foundation again. And <clears throat> I live in a house where the people that <laughs> owned my house before I did, did not have this coverage because the foundation was not repaired. And we, uh, when we were replacing the floors, we found out just how bad it was. And then we had to have the foundation repaired before we put the new floors in. And it was just, you just scratching your hand, just like, you gotta be kidding me. Yeah, really? <laughs> <laughs> You're just going to just cover this up with a little dirt and just move on. But it, it's, it's funny that stuff like that happens, but it. And it does. And we all have a budget and we we're going to get things repaired as best we can and get it taken care of. And that was as good. I guess that was as good as they could get it taken care of before we purchased the house. But well, since then. Yeah. And that's the important thing about making sure you've got the right type of coverage. Exactly. Because, it, I mean, if you didn't, if, if they had that coverage, they wouldn't have had to worry about anything. It would have been taken care of for them. Right. But having the wrong agent or having the wrong policy or not adding the coverages that you think or that you should have mitigates or kind of causes you to cut corners here and there because you don't have another choice. And that's my job is to make it sure, make sure that you have the coverage that you need. So you don't have to make those hard decisions of, Oh, we're going to have dinner tonight, but we can't do it tomorrow because we got to take care of this. So yeah, I mean, people spend more time thinking about, you know, what movie they're going to go see, what, you know, movie they're going to watch on Netflix, you know, more time on, you know, what, where do we want to eat, you know, tonight. Then they do on their insurance of the most major asset that they own. You yes. Know, you need to spend, seriously, people, you need to spend like a day. Just take a day every year, the same day every year, and just, you know, go through financials, go through insurance, go through all these things. And then, you know what, do it regularly. Do it on the same day every year, something, because – if you're undercovered with your house and you don't find out until something happens, it is too late. Exactly. And one of the things that, I mean, as we go through this, I'm going to get into it real quick because I don't know how much time I have today. No mucho. Okay. Uh, so when you're looking at sudden and accidental, I'm going to compare uh, Kemper Preferred, State Farm, USAA, and, Tex uh, and Farmers. And for sudden and accidental, everyone says yes. For... Kemper Preferred, which is the company, one of the companies I represent, it's just a flat out yes. With USAA, it's a flat out yes. With State Farm and Farmers, it's yes, the coverage for a leak is hidden and concealed, but it has to be reported within 30 days. So if you don't see it for 30 days, then it's not counted as sudden and accidental anymore. How will they know how long it's been? Good question. Uh, <clears throat> they know that mold grows at wow. a certain rate. For a certain amount of time and so they start checking the mold in the walls and they know exactly how long it's been there and so that's how they determine how long that leak has been there wow yes if, if you think there's not a way for them to figure <laughs> something out as to how to not pay you <laughs> there is a way that there they figured out they drew a line the last time they were there <laughs> the entire industry is built around ways to you know what you <laughs> and farmers has coverage includes cost uh, to tear out and replace any portion of the foundation slab or leak or to access access the leak when you talk about continuous and repeated and this is the pin drop in a in a pipe or something that you're not going to see for months and you're not going to see it until the whole wall is just ready to fall down for my company yes for USAA, it's not covered unless the unless it occurs uh, less than 14 days. So you got to catch it within 14 days. For farmers, it's not covered at all. It's not even it's not even available by an uh, endorsement to the policy. It's just they're not going to you're not going to be covered at all. It's so, just that. So simple. those commercials with all that nonsense, it's really nonsense, right? It's, it's just ad ploys. Their smart plan is smart for them. Uh, and with uh, St State Farm, it is covered. But if you ever take that endorsement off your, if you don't add that endorsement at the beginning when you first sign the policy, you can't add it later. And if you ever take it off, you can't ever add it back. So as soon as, 
as soon as you take that off, I mean, you're, you're limiting your coverage and they make it quite attractive for you to take that off. Cause they'll save you two, $300 easily because they know that it's going to cost them in the long run. If you keep that coverage on your policy. Mm. And it's my job just to make sure that like I, like I tell everybody, it's my job to make sure that you're covered and you're paying as little as possible. And so I always talk about coverage first because that's what really matters. Absolutely. Folks, you need to call Richard Tonic over at Goosehead Insurance. He can shop over 20 companies, figure out the best policy for you. As you can tell by this segment, he cares about you, and he's going to go through your situation and make sure you've got the best insurance coverage at all possible, of course, with the best price. RichardTAgency.com is the website. RichardTAgency.com is the website. Folks, short break. Come on back. <laughs> 